Hey everybody, Miguel Benitez here, helping you on the search for thoughtful Christianity. Today I want to talk about what does it mean to be made in the image of God. But before I do, I just want to encourage you, if you want to see more videos on thoughtful Christianity, make sure to subscribe to my channel. When we think about being made in the image of God, a number of people have proposed a number of different things that that means, right? What does it mean to be made in the image of God? Some have suggested that it's our ability to reason, right? Our, our rationality is unique to humanity in all creation. And so humans are able to reason and to think in a way that animals are not. So some have suggested that it's our ability to reason. Others have suggested that it's um, our, our ability to make moral decisions. Right? There is no moral standard that is applied to animals, but rather we are moral creatures. And, and so in that way, we are like God. And yet others have suggested that it has something to do with our makeup, right? Um, that yes, we're physical bodies, but we also have a, a spiritual component to who we are. And that it's that spiritual component that makes us in the image of God. What I'm going to propose here today is one aspect of what I think it means to be made in the image of God. You see, I don't think that being made in the image of God is any one particular thing, but rather it's a whole host of things um, in ways in which we reflect God, our creator. And so I want to take us right to the passage that discusses this. I'm in Genesis 1, verse 26, and it reads... Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So here we have, the right in Genesis 1, God explaining that he made man in his image. He made humanity in his image and likeness. So what does this mean? Well, I think at least one important aspect that oftentimes gets overlooked is what do we know about God so far? Right now, obviously, I realize the original intended audience already knew um, a lot about Yahweh, already knew a lot about God, um, and, and were already God's people, right? So, so I get that. But if you're starting to read Genesis for the first time, and you're reading through the first chapter, what do you know about God so far? Right? We know that He is a Creator. We know that He is a Creator. And He has now made man... He has made humanity in his image. I appreciate what Leland Riken says on this. He says, when we first read about the image of God in people in Genesis 1, we have as yet heard nothing about God as Redeemer, or the God of Providence, or the Covenant God, or the God of Moral Truth. The one thing that we know about God is that he created the world. In its immediate narrative context, then, the doctrine of the image of God in people emphasizes that people are like God creators. You see, again, I'm not limiting the image of God to just being creators, but in a very real, real way, in, in the immediate context, that is a major part of what's being proclaimed. That we are creators. Now, I also think that perhaps something that Leland uh, overlooks, okay, is that he's also saying man will have dominion, right? And so we also reflect God in the kind of responsibility that we have because he's given us responsibility over creation, right? But we shouldn't overlook the fact that what Genesis 1 has been all about thus far when we get to this passage is about God being a creator God, about God being creative. And so this is one of the aspects that we should spend more time thinking about. 
our creativity, whatever that looks like in each of our individual lives, is in fact one of the ways that we reflect who God is. And I don't want to limit this to just the fine artist. I know that a number of my videos are about fine art and what art means and all of those things. And I think that's certainly one of the ways that this, this can be um, communicated and shown. But I also think that it goes beyond that, right? Whether you are a carpenter, whether you are a pastor who is creating sermons, you're a stay-at-home mother who creates curriculum for her children. You're a um, architect, an engineer. You're a YouTube creator. All of the different ways that mankind has come up with to create and to demonstrate creativity, we are reflecting the God that has made us. We are exercising the image of God in which we're made. And so my encouragement to you is to be thoughtful about this. You see, for a long time, I thought in my own life, I'm not creative. And what I meant is I'm not a sculptor. I'm not a storyteller. I'm not a painter. Right? What I meant was I don't do a lot of arts and crafts. But what I've come to realize is we as human beings are creating all the time. So I want to encourage you, what are some of the ways that you are being creative? What are some of the ways in which you are exercising that image of God in which you're made as a creator? Go ahead and comment down below. Let us know what are some of the ways that we show who we are in being made in the image of God in the ways that we create. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless.